so I go to public buildings. Uh, right now, a lot of the offices are open, obviously. Sure. Um, so I noticed that your flag is not half-staffed. Okay. Um, I've seen Pembroke. I've been to Concord, and I've also been to Manchester. A lot of their town halls are also. Um, it's... Um, I'm just making the suggestion um, only because it's out of respect for Memorial Day. And Sununu actually made a statement on the news asking municipal buildings, public buildings to half sap their flags out of respect for the pandemic, first responders, and the Memorial Day. Um, this is my second time asking this department in the last three years to do so. Um, if you could bring it to the chief, Michael, I think his name is, right? If you can bring that to his attention. Um, I mean, it's just, it's common courtesy, it's respect. Um, and this is really, I mean, I live in this town, and to drive by this town. There, there was an internal email that went out to everybody asking us at sunrise to put it down. At sunrise um, today? Yep. It's been down all weekend, everywhere else. And so it's an internal email? So, like I said, there was an internal email that went out to all the patrol staff. Okay saying at sunrise today to make sure it was down. Okay. There was a little bit of stuff going on this morning. Okay. I was told by the person that I relieved that he took care of it. This? It did not. I will take care of it. Can now. I ask who that is? I, it doesn't matter. It does I, matter. I will take care of it It now. does matter because he's not following directions. I'm going to take care of it now. I'll take care of it now. I mean, do you see? Do you see where I'm coming from? Absolutely, 100. percent And I'm not. I'm not trying to be an ass about it. You know what I mean? I, I understand completely where you're coming from. I mean, I get it. every time this has happened, you know what I mean? Like the whole country has half staffed their flag. I mean, yeah. obviously some okay. have not. Like and I said, we, we were busy. Okay. I, which is understandable. I mean, calls have to come before something like that. So yep. It is what it is, and I okay. apologize. No. But I'll take care of it right now. Yeah. Would you? Absolutely. All right. No problem. All right. Thank you. I okay. appreciate it. No problem. Supposedly, there are too many. Calls. What's up, Jackass? Good. Oh, really? So that's not public information that's being driven out in the public 24 hours a day? So you can't see that from a public space? Doesn't matter. Oh, doesn't it? Boy, no wonder why Norristown has problems. You might want to learn the law. What law school would you go to? And why are you lying when you know it's a fact that every license plate is out in public and it's absolutely fair game? No, it's not. Really? Absolutely. Want to put some money on it? Yeah. Do you? How much you want to put on it that you're wrong and I'm right? How about, a, how about a, just a gentleman's bet? Now, because you're not a gentleman. Six feet, six feet, buddy. It's a restricted license plate. Six feet, buddy. Well, then, then you might want to not put it on your car, which no, drives around true. in public. It's restricted. Uh, you, you're, you're another YouTube star. Another YouTube star. You will. That you're wrong. I'm sorry. It's, it's, how can you say that that's public or private when you drive around in public with it, when anybody can see it at any time? Do you see that you have no IQ or very low IQ? And also, why don't you stop harassing me, please? Okay? Six feet. You come closer, then you're, you're causing a problem. Wow. Just absolute insanity. So you wonder why there's uprisings and problems with people like you who want to demand things that are illegal and use your ego and your authority in the wrong way. You wonder why there's a problem. People like you. you bad cops like you get good cops killed. Remember that. And the next time an officer dies, it's on your shoulders because of your actions. And I would very much appreciate it if you would leave me peacefully assembling alone. Sure hate to take the qualified immunity away from you. Sure would hate to do that and call you defendant in civil court. You don't want that. But you're pretty close. You guys are good, don't worry. What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm filming. Okay. Yes, she's correct. Right. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Good. Is there anything I can help you with? No, we're just wondering what you're doing. Sure. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. How are you doing? 
Not too bad. It's nice out today. Did you guys get alarmed or something? Well, generally when people walk around back here, it causes a little... I'm not here to break anything or do anything. Just filming. Didn't say you were. I know. I'm just letting you... Because I know there's been a lot of stuff going on lately, so I'm just letting you know. I'm not here to do anything bad. Just filming. How are you? Hello, sir. How are you? Good. What can we do for you? Not, what's your name and badge number? Hey, uh, Sergeant, Sergeant Fritzy, 334. Three, okay. okay, cool. Right. How are you doing? I'm good, just filming. Anything, anything else we can do for you? No, I'm just filming. Okay. Like I said to them, I don't have any ill intent or I'm not going to break anything. That's not, uh, that's not why I'm here. I'm only wearing the vest because I know other people do that and I don't want to get shot or anything in between anything. I don't know what you're what I'm walking into when I go to different calls, stuff like that. So, especially right nowadays, you know, I don't want to get shot. All right. So, all right. Good. Can you can't understand why we respond this way, though? I'm not judging at all. It's, I mean, yeah, I get it. Okay. You guys have been friendly and kind. That's that's oh, good. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, Fritzy. What's uh, what, what's your name? Um, I, I prefer not to give it. Why not? Because I don't need to. I know you don't need to, but. Yeah. Obviously, we're talking, we're friendly. Sure. We want to be personal with each other. Totally get that. You can call me a good citizen. All right, good citizen. Okay. All right. So, cool. is there any, besides for videotaping, which I think cause people, us, alarm sure. sometimes? Sure. You know, when you're out here around our building. Well, our, it's a public building, right? Our personal cars. Our, you know, I'm just... I didn't go to any personal cars either. You can, yeah. But it causes us some alarm. Then I get that. Because you can doesn't always mean you should. Well, you know what I fair mean? enough. That, that's your opinion, and I, I get what you're saying. Okay. So yeah, but again, I, I don't have any ill will. Not going to break anything. Not going to do anything. Just filming. All right. So, I mean, ultimately, what you hear, wearing a vest, recording, mm -hmm. covering your face, doing all that. Well, you're covering your face too, and you're wearing a vest. Yep. And you're, I'm hopefully recording. Okay. This is for. Are our, you recording our policies, though? Our procedures. No, and I get that, recording. and it's recommended by a yeah. lot of different departments. So, not just. You can see my face. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. So, we're gonna give you attention just because of how things are going. Okay? That's fair. So, you guys have been kind though. All that's right. that's all I can ask. All right. So, anything else you need from us? No, I'm all good. Right. All right. Have a good day then. Okay. Thanks. I don't want to follow too closely because I want to give them their oh, space. Yeah. You guys been busy lately? Has there been anybody harassing you guys out of curiosity? For the most part? Just the kind of like the basic, okay. That's good. Well, hopefully people don't do illegal things towards you guys because that's not good either. You know what I mean? Um, and just so you know what I am, I'm a first amendment auditor. Um, and so what I do is I go around to different government buildings and facilities and I just, I just check them out and film. You know, there's like this, for example, back here is beautiful. Um, so I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and so I film and then obviously if the, if there's somebody that's a public servant that needs some sort of education on how the law works and those kind of things, I, I'm happy to give that to them and keep it professional. Um, and again, I have no ill will. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I just try to keep things uh, respectful, but also educational for the public as well as law enforcement officers. Cause I think there's a better way to do things than what people have been doing around the Twin Cities for the past couple of weeks. In fact, I've been working security details yeah. for that. Yep. You know, and I don't like seeing that either. That's not the right way to handle things. Exactly. Um, I think we can all have present. we can all have conversations, yep. and you know, I think that is how any of the problems that we're seeing get solved. I don't think yep. any of this this breaking stuff, especially they're not even breaking, like police. I mean, they're just like ruining businesses. They're ruining their community. And that doesn't make any sense to me. Nope. Um, there's a there's a better way to to have a dialogue and have that discussion, and I think that that's important too. You know. Yep. So you guys have been super cool. So I appreciate it. Awesome. I'm going to go around this way. And uh, if you need anything from me, I'll be out and about and around. All right. Anything I can do for you? No. I think, I think you guys have been good.